Hello everyone. Here's the window sill. When you want to place a flower vase on this、uh, window sill to make、uh, some decoration, how do you like place this flower? In the center? At the corner? At the other side? A little bit? Or which position would you like to place the flower? Here we have A, B, C. From these three options, which one would you like better? If we ask a group of people, probably the majority, about two thirds, would agree that option A is the best choice. It only because the flower vase is placed right on the golden point. This kind of arrangement somehow gives people better feeling. People feel the sense of beauty from this golden section. That's what we are talking about: the sense of beauty. Golden section. Two line segment with the length A and B. If we have the ratio A divided by B. Or the whole length a plus b divided by the longer one a. If they are equal, then the ratio a over b is called golden ratio. Definition: Two quantities are in the golden ratio if the ratio of the larger one to the smaller one is the same as the ratio of their sum to the larger one of the two quantities. Here is what it means: If they are equal, then the ratio is called the golden ratio. We can do some magic based on. Mathematics. Here it is. We did some equivalent move, and then we have the golden ratio a over b show up, and the other side b over a is simply a reciprocal. So in that case, if we use one symbol replace this ratio, we turn out an equation x. Equals one plus one over x. That's what we have here. We try to solve this equation. Very typical, and we have the formula, and we turn out the number for x is an irrational number, one plus square root of five divided by two. We come out of this. Irrational number in decimal format, which is one point six one eight zero three three, goes on forever. No pattern repeated. An interesting fact you can see if you use one over this irrational number, you turn out the other side. Exactly with the same decimal numbers without the whole number part one. This is golden ratio. Something interesting already. Here it is. Could be called the golden section. Golden mean, golden proportion, golden number. So that's where we solve this number. The equation x equals one plus one over x. If we use this x, one plus one over x to replace the other side x, we know they are equal. So we can do this kind of replacement. See what happen. Similarly. Earlier, when we solve this equation, there's another expression. So this equation can be described as x equals square root one plus x. If we do the same way to use this expression, replace 
the single x under the radical. And then we have a new expression. Think about if we have this process going on, it turns out infinite expression. That is golden ratio or the number 1.618 stands for. We have a two infinite expression. It is very important in photography, which is called the golden rule, or is called the rule of thirds. We can separate the whole frame in nine areas. So that means we have two horizontal lines and two vertical lines. Divide this whole area into nine equal area. So here we have a four cross points A, B, C, D. They are all called the golden points. So in photography, whenever you try to frame your picture from the camera, keep that in mind. These golden points would be your focus. You can place your subject in one of these golden points that would make your picture prettier. Here's some examples. We have only one main subject, the eagle, located in one of the golden points. And we can also see the direction the hat is facing. The London Eye is located on the golden line left side is about one third. Again, the main focus, the heaviest subject in this picture is located on the golden line. Here we kind of see the statue in the picture if we think about uh, something like gravity and the gravity would be located on the golden line. Again, the gravity of this bird picture in this whole frame located on the golden line one third from the right side. This is all about beauty. It's the sense of the beauty. It's about how people feel it. If we may take a sample. Probably, I'm guessing, statistically speaking, with a B, about two thirds of people may agree with this kind of sense of beauty. There's another golden section involved in the definition about the golden section we give you. The process we solved the golden number and the infinite expression we have, they are all the beautiful part of mathematics. So that is the sense of beauty in mathematics. If you could go through the process, that is also very good exercise, almost involving many parts of the basic mathematical skills that you should have. So it will build up the beauty in your brain about the mathematics.